Hey guys, nice to see you again. Today is 13 September, uh, which is one of the big holidays in Korea, Chuseok. Uh, I'm sitting in just some random bench in my apartment. Uh, there are so many benches in my apartment, so it's, uh, usually it's not difficult to find a place to sit. But today is a big holiday and whole families are gathering right now. So they all take on every seat so it takes some time for me to find it here and there are some people are playing some games in there so their sound might come in this video as well I hope you can listen my voice clearly okay first of all I got so many new subscribers uh, these days thanks for everyone supporting me and my channel and my video I try to make better videos you know, I, I just want to say thank you all today I'm gonna explain about uh, this big holiday Chuseok but before explaining that I just want to let you know something um, there is a word OPPA OPPA right? The word oppa is the way to call older male by younger female but it is not used for calling whole every random Korean boy Do you know what I mean? For example, some foreign girls just use a word oppa to call Korean boys whatever his age is or whatever his name they met for the first time or rather than call his name but it somehow feels weird for us to be called about while we are talking in English actually of course it's up to you to use that word but at least I feel like I should let you know how we feel when we are called the word. A few weeks ago, I've already made about Korean age and how do we feel when we are heard the OPPA. So maybe if you watch that videos, then you will understand more uh, what I'm saying. Okay, let's get to the point. Today is one of the biggest holiday in Korea, which is called Chuseok. There is another big holiday, which is called Seolnal. Seolnal is January 1st, and Chuseok is 15 August in lunar calendar. So, which means every year the date of Seolnal and Chuseok will be changing. For you guys, tourists, I somehow recommend you to come in this big holiday season and also somehow don't recommend you to come because there has a pros and cons the good thing in this holiday in Seoul area there are many people they go to hometown they visit their parents and their relatives which means there are not many people in Seoul so you can um, you can make reservation in hotel easier than before and there are so many free chance like a visit palace for free or there are so many activities which is a traditional game or something you can google it later if you plan to come here in holiday but bad thing in this season is not every stores and restaurants are open because the staff and owner they need to visit their parents as well. When I was young, it was a kind of strict, but these days it's not that strict as much as before. So, not every stores are closed, so don't worry that much. But I'm just worried about that there is a place that you really want to go, but that store, the shop is closed, just in case. That's why I let you know. When I was young, like young, young, five, six, seven year old, 
At the time, I remember that I wear traditional clothes, and my cousins are wearing the traditional clothes, hanbok. And we gathering, see each other, and go to our ancestor's tomb, grave. And there's one special thing which is held in Chuseok. We made some kind of rice cake, which is called songpyeon. We used to gather, sitting round, and making the rice cake, songpyeon. And while, while we are making, it takes some time. So we are talking, how are you? How is your life these days or something? Yeah. Usually my cousins always ask, do you study well? How, was it, how is your grade or something? When I was young, not that bad. As I remember. <laughs> and when I made songpyeon, uh, you can see other people making the songpyeon. Some people really good at making. So it, it's like, you can sell. Sell. You can sell it. But mine was just only I can eat. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> Songpyeon kind of represents Chuseok in Korea. If you are curious, then you can find Songpyeon in any season and any rice cake stores. It not sell in only Chuseok or something. You can find it easily. Chuseok in these days, of course, there are many people uh, who go to hometown to visit their parents and relatives but these days is as I told you not strict as much as before so if someone is busy then they don't go they just call uh, in my case next week I have a test economy test which is not my major so I don't have much time for going there because it takes like more than at least three hours for me to go there no, four hours so I decided not to go in this time and I just studied in my home because many library is not opened okay so today I made a video about uh, explaining Chuseok because in these days on Instagram or wherever you can get information about the holiday of Korea easily so maybe some some of you feel curious about this I just explain briefly I hope uh, my explanation helps you to understand more of Korea ah one more thing in this time if you have a Korean friend then you might well want to send some messages to your friends if you know Korean then 즐거운 추석 보내세요 is perfect sentence but if you don't know the Korean language, then you can just send happy choose to Korean friends. Okay, thanks for watching and I will go back home and I will do study more. Okay, bye bye.